What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping in the next one on our Q Dance journey. Hey, Randy Climax Distorted Reality from 2021. Coming at us from Yori. I definitely appreciate it. We are going to have to split this one up into two pieces. So, piece two will be tomorrow. We'll stop it right at the halfway mark. Let's see what we got. Let's jump in. Let's check it out together. It's going to be something amazing, something that'll be something that gets you some energy, which we could use right now. I ain't got no coffee on me. So, we're, hard style is the next best option. Let's jump in. Let's go. Go on a journey. It's going to be hard. It's gonna be loud. Turn it up your speakers. You feel free. <laughs> no. I live in America. The path to liberty has many challenges. Whoa. One can easily be sidetracked by the distractions of ego and temptation. Big facts. Hear the clock ticking. I, I love it. I gave it all with no regrets. Always laughing in the face of death. No, I won't go down a hero on song. If the mind will never comes. If the mind Hey, I've been thinking it for a while that uh, a lot of these cute dance things, the stages, everything is always built up like some otherworldly being, like some thing that we need to take back some knowledge from. And there's a lot of knowledge passed through these extremely hard songs, like motivational things, inspirational things, things that give people a little bit more power to do what it is that they need to do in their life. And I think that's, I think it's amazing. I think that a lot of people get a lot of benefit from these things for sure whether it's just exerting some energy that you need to exert whether it's getting energy that you need to get wisdom through the songs whatever the case may be it always has something that relates to real life to people to you and me like just next level Charging my batteries, I can feel it. <laughs> if 
Hey, life is going to throw you some shit, all right? Life is not all oh, flowers and rainbows. It's going to throw you some shit. It's going to test you a lot of times. And if you don't stick to your guns, if you don't just, like, stand by everything that you believe in, where are you really going? What are we really doing with life? If we're not getting out there and achieving and making things better for the next generation, if we're not out there doing the things that we need to do so that we can be happy with the memories that we made when we leave the world... If tomorrow never came, where would you be right now? Would there be un unaccomplished things? Would there be unfinished business? Would there be things that you needed to take care of? Those are the things that you need to focus on. Those are the things that you need to make sure that you're doing so that you don't get left behind. So don't you leave nothing behind. Leave something unaccomplished. Leave something unfinished. I see so many travelers and explorers and just modern day exploring type people getting out there and making things happen enjoying life for what it really is what it's really meant to be enjoyed doing like there's a lot of times where those little side things those little distractions of life are going to try to take you off course you got to stay the course you got to keep going even when people tell you that you can't you got to make it to the other side like there's so many things that you get from this damn kind of music i'm telling you You don't even need an audience for this. This is big, big. Thought you'd be a hypnotized.
Saxophone, let's go. That build up, let's go.
the rain up on my skin. I know I never will give it. Caught in the eye of the storm, you say. I feel the lightning in my bones. And I know I never walk alone, cause I resolve in everything. Let it turn the God away. Thing that was going on in the world, I think we had to kind of adapt and overcome. I think we got to see a lot of people who are really worth following, who are really worth the time and effort that it takes to be a fan, like because that, that does. There's a lot of very, very loyal folks out there. But we see Q Dance did all kinds of shit during the whole pandemic that was going on where nobody could be there, even though you guys have a heart for it. Everybody, y'all wanted to get back out there. Nobody could go. And yet you still had beautiful, amazing, over-the-top kind of things coming out of Q Dance for the fans. Like, that's the kind of people that you want to get behind. Anybody that gives a shit about you as a listener, you're the one, the people that don't forget that, hey, because of you, I am up here. Like that, those are the people. I'm telling you right now, those are the people. Don't forget about all the people that forgot about you when everything was going down. Like, remember the ones that were here, that were making content, that were still putting things out, that were getting together with doing some across the world type things. All of these things they're all important to me. They all matter to me because those are the artists that I'm like, yo, 100% behind that person. 
when I needed you most, you were there. Like that kind of stuff. Definitely get over it. Show Q Dance All the Love in the World. Right here is where we're going to pause today's episode. We will finish this off tomorrow for sure because it is epic. Smash the like button if you liked it, the dislike button, but I won't believe you at all. Make sure that you get over and show Q Dance the love in return. Tell the next one of my Lincoln Bustable. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back, peace.